I'm not sure if I want to try to sell it anymore or really just chuck it out the window because at this point I'm sick of looking at it. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today I'm doing something a little bit different and we're actually going to do a haul video. Things that I pulled from my antique booth. Now I do have three booths at a nearby antique mall and these items have been sitting in the booth for sale for a while now and nobody's buying them seemingly. So I decided that I'd go ahead and pull them out of the booth to put online because I think that they have a better shot of selling online than in the booth. I also, the same time that I pulled these things from the booth, I pulled other things just to be donated completely. So this is sort of the creme de la creme of what I had in the booth. First thing I want to show you is this cow. It's a cow uh, pottery, crockery, whatever you want to call it. It's made in Roseville, Ohio, and it has a cow on it. So for $6.50, I had that in the booth and no one was buying it. I think I could stick this in my Etsy shop and get more than $6.50 out of it. But uh, all in all, it's really cute. I don't think I'll have a problem selling that online. And uh, yeah, so what am I going to sell it for? Probably around $20, $24 with shipping included. And I do include shipping. On something like that, by the way, it's first class it should be first class which means it should cost me like five dollars to ship so not terrible now i do have these two mugs here and they remind me of otagiri though i don't think they are i mean they're screen printed and they're not really embossed or anything but they sort of have that appeal to them so we've got the little airplane on there and what else do we have well just lots of airplanes and then the clouds they're really pretty so i had $5.95 for the one mug and then I have this other one here with little boats and ships on it nautical and again $5.95 on this one it just wasn't selling and I, I think that it should be selling for $5.95 so what I'm gonna do is actually put these together and sell them on Etsy this is heavier than a pound for sure even if I sold them separately so they will be going together and uh, probably around $30 with shipping included and shipping will be about $10 of that. So I'll make roughly $20 on the two mugs minus every, all the fees and all that. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'll have a problem selling them online. I decided, ooh, I decided to pull this from the booth. Now I've sold these successfully in my Etsy shop. It's one of these little honey pot bear jam jars and I had $8.95 on it does come with a plastic spoon it's a plastic spoon in this case and it's marked japan on the bottom but it's ceramic and i had 8.95 on it in the booth i think that this will do better online because i have successfully sold them online so i will probably put this on for about 24 dollars with shipping included for that little little bear i might even have one currently listed i cannot tell you but uh, i seemingly find these everywhere so Every time I find one, I can't resist picking them up. Another item that I pulled from the booth, and it's a sad day because I thought that these were gonna sell in the booth a long time ago. They're little bowling pins, and they're made by Lefton as well. So the thing about the bowling pins, I have three antique booths in a mall that used to be a bowling alley. So it's historically rooted as a bowling alley. I figured these would be perfect for that space. No one was buying it. No one cared. Well, I think these will do much better online. They were $5. I put $4.95 on a pair of salt and pepper shakers and they were in there for over a year. So I will put these online. They're probably gonna go for about $24 with shipping included. And they, again, they are left in Japan. So that's really awesome. And then I pulled this cow creamer. It's a little cow creamer figurine kind of a thing. This is Occupy Japan, so it's 1945 to 1952, and it is marked that on the bottom here. It's stamped in, it says that. And it's a brown little cow creamer. Now, because it is Occupy Japan, and it's a kind of a cute little figurine, useful thing, I put $12 on it, but no one wanted to buy it, so I pulled it. Yep, this will be going online. And for, a Occupy Japan, for an Occupy Japan cow creamer, come on, Stel, get up here then I'll probably put it on for like $24 with shipping included. 
There we are. You probably heard her shaking around. She's a rattler. She likes to rattle around the house and cough like that for some reason. Oh, Stella. So I did pull Mr. Barney Rubble here. Stella. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Barney Rubble here. It's, it's a rubberized plastic, rubber plastic bank. That rubber bank and $9.95 is what I had on it. No one was purchasing it, so I figured it had a better shot online than studying around in the booth, and I just did not want to donate it because it's cool, you know? Somebody should be out there online and buy this, I think. So I'm gonna stick this one on Etsy. And it does say on the side of the bank here, 1994. So it's a 1994 plastic rubber bank. And uh, I'll probably stick it on there for about $24 with shipping included. Now this item here is really fun. This is actually one of Barb's items. Now Barb for a short while had some, and she still does have some things in my booth. She didn't want to start her own booth, but I gave her some slots, let's call it, in my booth. And uh, I let her put some of her things in my booth to see how they sold. And then uh, I took a percentage of that. I think, we, I think we were doing 40%. I think it was 40%, 10 of which automatically goes to the booth or to the, the mall. And then I walked away with 30%. And then she walked away with the other 60%. So this item here, I just decided to go ahead and buy from her uh, at the full value of what she could have got from a customer because I like it. And if, even if I don't decide to keep it, I think I'll just stick it online. But it's a really pretty mid-century looking vase. I like the twisted nature of it. And I do collect the Ivy things, um, Franciscan Ivy and Wanda signed it on the bottom. So it's just, it's really pretty. I like the mid-century lines of it and the Ivy leaves. So um, she had on it $5.95 in the booth and it wasn't selling. So I gave her whatever that would have been, like $4. Okay, and the other item that I pulled from the booth was this uh, tomato, tomato teapot. Again, it was sitting in the booth. This was one of Barb's item, items and she had $9 on it. It is Occupy Japan, mind you. So it's an Occupy Japan, oh, that's why. The lip is broke, so it's right there, it's not broken, and then you, there it is, see? I mean, you're not gonna really see that when it's nested like that, but it is marked on the bottom here, what does it say? Marahan Ware, made in Occupy Japan. So I will put this online. I went ahead and gave her the $6 for this, and um, yeah, I'll try putting that online, see what I can do with it. Maybe, maybe it's a $28 item with shipping included really nice so oh I'll wait to pull that one out because it's kind of heavy okay so I did pull these like little I want to call them egg cups they are little chickens and they are Italian porcelain they're really pretty no one was buying them in the booth for some reason maybe there's just not enough people out there wanting wanting this kind of stuff here locally so I had priced on them eight dollars for the pair and I think that's a pretty good price considering there's no chips or cracks. They're just really cute little birds, see them? So, um, I'm just reading my tag. Yeah, it says Italian, Italy porcelain chick egg cups pair. Very nice. So I will stick those online. I'm sure I can sell them for like $24 with shipping included. And these will go first class, so that'll lighten up that shipping cost for me. Now this item here, I'm not sure if I want to try to sell it anymore or really just chuck it out the window because at this point I'm sick of looking at it. This has been in my booth ever since I started my booth and that is over two years ago. And I have just been, I don't, stubborn, let's say. Uh, I, I just think one of these days somebody's gonna wanna buy this. The problem is I never actually changed the price. I always had it, I always had it at $20, which is just too much for this. Um, nine dollars would have been better but no i left it at 20. so we've got this green glass swan trinket dish do i want to just do i want to put this online or do i want to donate it at this point i just feel like donating it and being done with it but um 
Let me know in the comments below if you really want this. And here's another little salt and pepper shaker of a, of a, of a egg, a cracking egg. This one, I don't know how old it is or not. I taped it shut. Let's see if we can tear this egg open. Here, I'll twist it. Okay, cool. It is made in Japan, so it does have some age on it, this blue sticker on the inside here. It's really pretty. Mm, so this is a shaker, and then this is a shaker, and then it nests together like that, so it's really cool. I only had $4 on this in the booth. So I am gonna stick this online for probably 22 to $24 with shipping included. It's just really cool and unique. I like that it's a nestable item like that, and. Unique looking. So that's that one. And then I have this other figurine here, just really a, a kitschy little mouse or, what did I have, a bunny. I, I wrote bunny on there, is that a bunny? I, I think you could do it, whatever you think it is, that's what it is. So it's yellow, it has little eyes, it's so cute, anthropomorphic, and I had 4.95 on it. Wasn't selling. That's okay. I'm going to stick this online for about 20 to $22 with shipping included. Really cute one. Yeah. And then I have this little, oh, I wrote cast aluminum lion figurine Japan. If it's, I guess it's aluminum. Metal is not my forte. It could be pewter, but I'm, it feels more like aluminum to me. Um, and it's kind of hollowed out for the most part. And, oh yes, it's marked Japan on the hind leg. So it's this lion figurine, it's really cool. And I had $9 on it. So I will try for about 20 with shipping included on Etsy for that lion. Yeah, pretty cool. And then, let's see. This looks like a Wade. I'm, I'm actually not sure because I haven't really dealt a lot in Wade's figurines but it, it looks like that with the way that it is. It's instrument, okay, and it's marked Japan on it, on the leg here, written down it. So, I lost the tag, here it is. I had $4 on it in the booth, and it wasn't selling, so I'm gonna stick this one online, depending on what it's worth. It's gonna be under $20, though, probably, with shipping included, for that elephant. It's really pretty with the orange flower on the inside, really nice. Paperweights do well for me on Etsy, more so than they do in the booth, so I decided to pull this. I had $14.95 on it, and I will put this in um, on Etsy for about $20 with shipping included. And there's no issues with it at all. It's really nice for that paperweight. And then, this is the, okay, second to last thing. This is like this little flocked bull, it's purple, and then it has um, salt and pepper, right here, nested in his little thing. See there, it's kind of strange, huh? So, yeah, I put 395 on it. It's a flocked bull with rose, right there. So yeah, um, I mean, it's not in the most perfect shape. It's definitely older, it says, well, it says made in Hong Kong, the sticker on the, on the bottom there. So I'll put that online, maybe throw it up for $20 with shipping included, again for that bowl. The last thing that I wanna show is actually, I'm not sure, it says made in India, so I don't know if it's terribly old. Could be from the late 90s to the early 2000s, but it's Big Ben, it's a metal statue. I don't even know where, I, I think I maybe bought this many years ago at a flea market for myself as like a decoration, and no one wants to buy it. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Um, it's Big Ben, it's, it feels solid, although I don't think it's solid, it just it has a lot of weight to it. Um, I originally had $14.95 on it, then I marked that down to $10, and it's been sitting in the booth at $10 for over half a year now. Um, yeah, what a shame. So, if it, this doesn't go on Etsy, which it probably won't, it'll, then it'll more likely go on eBay, because of the age thing. Etsy's really picky about age and they want to make sure that it's at least 20 years old. Okay, the last thing, I thought that was the last thing, I forgot this here. I picked this up a while ago, it's a metal basket and we had, I remember in the video, I had so many 
um, issues trying to figure out what it was for. Could be for a scale, could be for like part of a scale unit. But, um, and there are a lot of suggestions in the comments. I'm actually just gonna throw this up online. It's not doing anything in the booth, which is unfortunate because I feel like it should, but it's not. And ooh, maybe the price, you yeah. know. Sometimes I wonder and I look at the price and I'm like, oh, that's why. Ah, uh, I put $39.95 on it. The problem is it's so unique that that's just what I do sometimes. Whenever I, I don't usually see stuff like this, I just decide to put a higher price on it because I don't wanna get stung or see it go too quick and then find out later I made a mistake on identifying it. Well, that didn't happen. Um, obviously it's not worth $39.95 in the booth. I still think that it could sell for that though. I still think that's a pretty realistic price for something like this. It has a lot of character to it. So I will most likely stick that up online for about $40 plus the shipping, which would round that off to about 45 to just under $50 for the basket. That is, that is it. That is all folks. That is the stuff that I pulled from the booth that I felt was good enough to stick in my Etsy shop. So hopefully by the time you're seeing this, hopefully they will be online. But I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.